Hi there, once again, welcome to Adio Tech. I'm delighted to have you right here on my channel. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial. If you have already subscribed as well, then welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate ratio between two numbers using Excel. So let's say, for instance, I have calls and then orders, and I want to calculate the ratio between the two. So let's say for July, I have 45 calls. And out of the 45 calls I had with 15 orders. Immediately I hit the tab key, it's gonna give me the ratio. That's the ratio three is to what one. So I can say out of every three calls, I get what one order. Okay, so that is the ratio between the two. If I go ahead for I guess let's say I have 55 against let's say 30 orders, that is what 11 is to six. So after at every 11 calls, I get what six what others so this is something that you to help you a lot to be able to do some short analysis for your own source and other things i'm going to show you how to get this files at the end of this video so in order to get that or know how to get this file just stay tuned to the end of this video i'll show you how to get this so let's say 75 and we have let's say 45 orders and it's going to be a well, five is to three so basically this is how to go about it and i'm going to show you everything step by step in this short tutorial so in order to start i'm going to clear everything and i'll give you the formula step by step i'll explain everything for you so stay tuned for that so i'm going to clear everything and then we start from what scratch okay so i've actually cleared this and then we're going to start from scratch so let's say I have 15 against what five and then i want to get a ratio i've cleared my formula so i'm not gonna get a ratio i'm gonna show you how to get this step by step so there is something we call gcd which stands for greatest common divisor so for us to be able to get a ratio we need to get the greatest common divisor between the two numbers so 15 for instance the greatest common divisor is going to be five so automatically numbers that can divide between these two the greatest among them is five in order to do that you can say equal to gcd and just select the two numbers and hit enter close the brackets and hit enter you can see it's giving us what five so if i pick 75 against what 15 and i hit enter the greatest common divisor between these two numbers is what 15 so if i pick 100 against what let's say 25 the greatest common divisor between them is what so what the greatest common divisor between these two numbers is what 75 so we're going to use this strategy to actually calculate our ratio between the two numbers so let's start and see how we can go about this okay so we're going to calculate the ratio over here and let's say the first two numbers is let's say in february okay in february i'm not having january over here but let me just insert so i'm going to click here and then insert a new cell over here and let me just name it January okay so first let me remove the highlight from here I'll change the background to white okay and then I'm just gonna do January over here so I think I have to change the font color as well so I'm gonna change this font color to black and then let me just type in January okay so I'm gonna reduce the font size to I'm reducing the font size to around 14 and I'll make sure everything over my font over everything is going to be black as well and then I'll just update this and change the background over here to light green okay so I think we can start okay so automatically let me just bring 45 here so I'll select this part make sure my font color is black okay so I'm going to change this to 14 so I think I will update the font size for everything. I'll make sure everything within every cell is for 14. So everything can be uniform. So now we can start. So I'm going to have 15 over here. And in order to get the ratio between 45 calls and then 15 orders, all I need to do is to bring equal to, and then I'll first go with what the course column. So I'm going to find the greatest common divisor between the two. So I'm going to see the first one is the call. That's D what four. So I'm going to say D4 divided by, then I'm going to bring the GCD, that's the greatest common advisor. Then into brackets, I'm going to select the, the calls to the order. So I'll just select between these two, because that's the two I want to calculate 
four and then i'll just close this bracket and i'm going to bring the i'm going to bring the the and symbol and i'll bring into quotes and i'll bring column this way and i'll bring the quotation once again because i want to put the ratio the column between the two okay the same thing for the others as well so the others is in e what four so i'll bring e4 this way divided by then i'll do the gcd once again and it's still going to be what d4 is to what e4 so that's basically the same thing and i'll close my bracket and i'll just hit enter so you can see it's giving the ratio between the two thing i need to update this column and also set set my font my font to what 14 okay so you can see if i go ahead and update this to 20 and i hit enter automatically it's going to change the ratio that's 9 is to 4 so we can see from every nine calls we get with four orders if i drag this formula down it's going to update those where i have figures so you can see 15 against 5 is giving me 3 is to what 1 okay so we go ahead and then add more figures to the rest of our month it's going to give us a ratio automatically so this actually has been automated so if i say 65 for march and then the orders for march let's say we have what 25 and i hit enter it's going to give me the ratio that's 13 against what five so every 15 calls we get at least five orders that's the ratio if i come to april and then i put in 35 against four orders it's going to give me 35 against four if i update this to something else let's say 72 it's going to do 18 against one so this time around i can say after every 18 course i get just one order and if you come to me you can just go ahead and then do for the rest and then see how best you can do your analysis okay so this is just a simple way to calculate the orders the ratio between course and then orders in excel okay so i'm just going to go through the rest and then i'll show you how to get this far so it's basically going to be straightforward and make sure you download this file and then try for yourself okay so this is how to actually go about it and then the formula is always available for you to try for yourself so let me just finish up with this and then i'm showing going to show you how to get this far so let's say i guess had 90 against what 45 orders that's going to be two is to one so every two calls i get at least an order and 37 against seven so that's going to be 37 again so every 37 calls i get at least seven orders so if i change this to 56 it's going to be eight every eight calls i get at least an order and i'm just going to finish this up and this place let's say nine so every eight eighty calls i get at least nine orders if i change this to something else it's going to be 25 calls will give me three orders and then the november let's say we had this okay so anything anytime you are doing any update is going to reflect accordingly it's going to reflect accordingly okay so let's say december is the festive period so we have 145 calls okay and then 55 orders so you can see it's going to see at every 29 calls we get what 11 orders so let me just apply some bold to this as well okay so you can see we've basically been able to calculate the ratio between our calls and orders and then we can do we can use this for some short analysis so i'm going to show you how to get this file and then to in order to get this file leave the link at the description of this video so you can download and then try for yourself you can do your own uh, adjustment to this if you have anything at all you want to discuss with me leave the comment at the comment section and also let me know if you subscribe at the comment section if you subscribe just type under the comment sections i have subscribed okay and i will respond to you and i want us to build that kind of relationship right here on this channel in 2022 so till i come your way again stay safe and then continue to visit my channel like and share this video with friends bye bye